Lesson 6.7, Three-Digit Subtraction, Regroup Tens. In subtraction, we regroup one ten as ten ones when there are not enough ones to subtract from. So remember, this top number is the min you in. We're taking away the subtrahend, and the answer is the difference. We have two ones, and we need to take nine away. We can't. We don't have enough ones. There's only two of them. So we would regroup one of these tens as ten ones. We have 132 minus 119. We have 103 tens, two ones. And we're trying to take away 119. We can't take away nine ones. There's only two of them. So we can take this ten and break it into ten ones. Now we can take nine away. We take away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We took nine away. We can see that we have three ones left. We took the three tens, took one of them away, and turned it into ten ones. So we had twelve ones. When we took the nine away, we've only got three left. Now we have two tens here. And two tens minus one ten. We take one ten away. Now we have one ten left. We have one hundred we need to take away. So we need to take away this one hundred. We've only got a ten and three ones. We've got thirteen. And we can solve this problem with a quick drawing. We have 132 minus 119. We draw the menu end, this number, 100, three tens, two ones. We take one of these tens and break it into ten ones. Now that we took the ten and made it into ones, we can cross off the tens. It's not in the tens place anymore. It's now ten ones. Now we can take nine ones away. We can take away these nine. We cross them off because we're taking them away. That's going to leave three. We need to take away this one, so we cross off a ten. We need to take a one hundred away, so we take away that one hundred. We're left with no hundreds, one ten, three ones. And what we did was we regrouped from the tens place. The three tens became a two tens. We gave it to the ones place as ten ones. So instead of two ones, we then had twelve. Twelve minus nine is three. Two tens minus one ten is one ten. It's equal to thirteen. It's telling us to model, draw, and solve. We have four hundred sixty-three minus one hundred twenty-eight. The first thing we do is draw the menu end, four hundreds, six tens, three ones. Then we cross out the number of the subtrahend. We start with the ones place. We have three ones and we need to take eight ones away. And we can't, we don't have enough. So we need to regroup from the tens place. This six tens is going to become five tens. We're going to take this ten and we're going to move it over here. as ten ones. Now instead of three ones, we have thirteen ones. Now we can take eight away. If we take these eight away and cross them off, we can see we've got one, two, three, four, five ones left. Thirteen minus eight is equal to five. We need to take two tens away from this five tens so we can Take two tens and cross them off. We can see we've got three tens left. We need to take one hundred away. We have three hundreds left. It's equal to three hundred thirty-five. Let's try it again. We have five hundred forty-two minus three hundred thirty-seven. We draw the number of the menu in. Five hundreds, four tens, two ones. And we cross off, cross out the number of the subtrahend, the 337. And we regroup if needed. And the very first thing we do is look at the ones place and ask ourselves, are there enough ones? 
We have two ones and we need to take seven away. No, we can't take seven away from two. So we need to regroup from the tens place. This four tens is going to become three tens. This four tens is going to become three tens and we're gonna put 10 ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ones. That means instead of two, one, two ones, we have 12 ones. Now we're going to do 12 minus seven. We take seven away. We have three and a four makes a seven. And we'll cross those out because we took them away. That leaves one, two, three, four, five, five ones. Now we need to take three more away. So we're gonna take away the three that are here. That leaves zero tens. That leaves zero tens. Now we take away three hundreds. One, two, three. And that leaves us with two hundreds. Five hundred minus three hundred is two hundred. Our answer is two hundred five. And remember when we're modeling it with a drawing, we're drawing the menu in and taking away, crossing off the numbers that are in the subtrahen. We can remember menu in is first and subtrahen is second because M comes before S in the alphabet. That's first, that's after M. The menu in comes before the subtrahen. Here we have 656 minus 647. We draw the menu in, six hundreds, five tens, six ones. I'm gonna cross off 647. We only have six ones and we can't cross off seven. So we need to turn one of these tens into 10 ones. We need to take the five tens, put one in the ones place as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ones. We're going to take one of the tens, so now we have four tens, see? We cross this one off because we moved it to the ones place. Now, instead of six ones, we have 16 ones. We take seven of them away, three and four is seven. We cross these off and we have five, six, seven, eight, nine ones left, 16 minus seven is equal to nine. We need to take four tens away. One, two, three, four, that's all of them. That's all of them that are left. Four tens minus four tens is zero tens. And we have six hundreds minus six hundreds. Well, that's zero. So we don't need to write the zeros here. The difference is nine, 656 minus 647 is nine. Now, could we have solved this with mental math? Yes, we could have started at 647, counted on three to 650, then counted on six more to 656, and that would have been nine. We have 574 minus 365. We start by drawing the menu in, 500s, seven tens, four ones. We need to subtract three hundreds, six tens, five ones. We need to regroup because we can't take five away from here. So we're going to take one of the tens, move it to the ones place, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We took one of the tens, now there's only six tens, and we gave it to the ones place as ten ones. So instead of four ones, we have 14 ones. Now we can take five away. We can take away this five. And we see we have five, six, seven, eight, nine ones left. 14 minus five is equal to nine. We need to take six tens away. And look, we have five, six tens here. So we take them away, cross them off. We have zero tens now. We need to take away three hundreds. One, two, three. That leaves two, 500 minus 300 is 200. It's 209. And it's very important that we fill the tens place with a zero to keep the digits in their correct place. If we didn't have a zero here, this might look like 29. 
because the zero was not in the middle to push this into the hundreds place. So it's very important that if you have zero tens, that you put a zero in the tens place. And when regrouping, remember to write the corrected number in the tens place to show a 10 was taken away. When we take a 10 away from the tens place, we need to make sure we cross off the number and write the corrected number of tens so that when we go to do the subtraction, we don't make a mistake. If we forget to cross this off, we might do six minus two instead of five minus two. Even for the ones place, it's very important that you write the corrected number so you don't make a mistake when you're subtracting. This is using addition and subtraction to solve a problem. It says Mrs. Kim baked 296 chocolate cookies and 145 lemon cookies. After some cookies were sold, there were 123 cookies left. How many cookies were sold? So we think, well, there were chocolate cookies and lemon cookies. We need to total the number of cookies first. We need to add the chocolate cookies to the lemon cookies first. We start with the ones place. Six ones plus five ones is 11 ones. We regroup 110 and write one one. We have nine, 10, and four more is 14 tens. That's 10 tens that we can regroup as 100 and four tens. Now we add the hundreds, two, three, four, we have 441. If we take away the cookies that were left over, we'll now know how many were sold. So we're gonna put 441 over here as the menu end. We're gonna subtract 123. We've got one one and we're trying to take three away and we can't because we don't have enough. So this four tens is going to become three tens and we're going to give that 10 to the ones as 10 ones. Now instead of one one, we have 11 ones. 11 minus three is eight. Three tens minus two tens is one ten. Four hundreds minus one hundred is three hundred. We know 318 cookies were sold. We added the chocolate and lemon. When we got our sum, we used that as the menu in to take away what were left over. And then the difference was that some amount of cookies that were sold. Remember when drawing your model, you're going to draw the menu in, you're gonna cross out whatever the subtrahend is. And remember to write that corrected number in the tens place or the ones place when you regroup. Our next lesson, 6.8, we're gonna do three digit subtraction and we're gonna regroup hundreds. I hope you'll join me there and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.